Hi John Henry Newman students, my name is Maria Camisella and I attended John Henry Newman between 2005 and 2012. I'm going to spend a bit of time on this video talking a bit about my experiences since leaving John Henry Newman and what my journey has been. So back in 2012 I left the school to go to university. I had a place at L the London School of Economics to do to read history and during that time I think I remember just being very excited about meeting new people, moving to a bigger city and uh, getting to grips and studying the course that I'd chosen to do. During that time, though, I think you start to think more and more about uh, what you want to do as a career going forward. And it did um, it did come to my um, attention that pot potentially I would enjoy doing something like law. And so what I did was ensure that I got some experience and enough experience around that in order to um, understand if that's exactly what I wanted to do. So I got some work experience at a criminal law firm in North London by writing in and uh, asking them if they would be taking any work experience students. I also gained a place on a vacation scheme for um, a American law firm in my second year of university and understood from those two experiences that I was definitely more attracted to a side in commercial law. Uh, once I left university, I didn't go straight into law. I was very keen to get working and understand the work uh, landscape. So I got a role in headhunting. I did this for about 15 months. And during that time, I saved up to um, be able to do a law conversion and begin that process and, and that career in law. So during uh, the GDL, that's when I uh, went out there to look for a more specific role and found um, by going to law fairs and communicating and attending events at law firms that I was able to find out a lot more about each firm and apply and make my application much more bespoke to each firm. I was lucky enough to get a training contract at McFarland's LLP, where I currently am now. It, this involved also having to do the LPC. So in order to do a career in law through a non-law degree route, you would do um, the GDL and then the LPC. I think this is now changing for many non-law students and there is a new system that's coming in. Um, but there's, um, there's much out there in terms of uh, information on that. So once I'd done the LPC, I had a bit of spare time and paralegaled at a startup law firm doing commercial work there and getting getting to know lots of different types of startups and investors and how and what motivates them and what draws them in. I picked up a lot of skills during my time in recruitment and paralegaling, things like communication, resilience, relationship building, all these things that you can build on. But I think another important thing that has come to light in terms of development was actually that doing my history degree really gave me some of the really analytical skills that I would need in a career in law. I then started my training contract in March 2019. So I'm now 18 months through that and I've got eight, six months to go until I qualify as a solicitor. And um, I'm really enjoying that, that process. Of course, with COVID-19 happening this year, it has been really difficult to ensure I'm getting the exact same training in as before and ensuring that I'm staying as connected with colleagues and friends and family as before. And something I'd say that I've learned over this process is that keep communicating in any way you can, whether this is a short email, a phone call, a video call, a text message to friends, family, colleagues, keeping in touch and keeping them updated through this time is so important. I definitely think that during this period as well, I've learned that I sh you should have a good work-life balance and uh, looking after yourself is really key. This can take form of just, you know, cooking great meals, healthy meals, going for long walks. These sort of things have kept me really going during that time. But I wish you all the best of luck in your endeavours and please do uh, feel free to get in touch if you have any questions about that journey. Thank you.